Alright, hello everybody, this is SBK here, brings you Game 1 between Weimei Fox Moon and Evil Genius Happy. And the Moon is the Blue Nano player spawning at 7 o'clock on the Melting Valley. And uh, Happy is the Red Undead player spawning at uh, 1 o'clock on Melting Valley. And uh, I have noticed in my recent replays on uh, commentaries, I haven't, uh, I I've been shy away from a Night Elf race. Uh, that's why I'm doing this uh, moon replay. Of course, uh, so I think some of you requested moon replays. That's why I'm doing this uh, series, and this is for NGL One Season Six. And I believe this this series, both games are played on um, June twenty first, two thousand nine. And uh, Moon's gonna start a tavern build, and he's gonna throw down Asian War and uh, Moonwell before he get a get before he get a uh, altar. And the, at the other corner, Happy started a um, a standard build, a crypt and altar, and then and then Ziggurat. That's uh, that's a standard. That's a pre pretty much standard build for for undead now, unless you do a fast DK build that uh, that just. Uh, yeah, that just uh, harass that has harassment written all over it. But uh, let's see here. Um, early early uh, scout sent off by uh, Happy. Happy is uh, has really solidified his uh, uh, his position on top, on one of the top uh, one of the better uh, undead players and in the world actually. Besides Ted and uh, uh, some um, some undead player, I can't think of a Korean uh, undead player, but. Um, Happy, you had to. Happy has to be one of the best undead players out there. Um, if you if you think of a if you think of a human, of course, uh, there's a there's a sky and um, th zero zero zero, maybe Infi. Although I don't think of uh, Infi as a, one of the better uh, as one of the best human player. But uh, but if you think or think of or you, you think of Lin uh, Grubby and uh, and uh, what do you call what is his name? Um, um, um. Uh, I can't remember. It's in some some other Korean. <laughs> uh, Korean. Well, I don't know why Koreans are so um uh, orc favored uh, or orc heavy. But anyway, if you think of a night elf, you think of Creolophus, you think of Moon, you think of uh, um, uh, even uh, I will say um, uh, even uh, one of those uh, um. Uh, not not so popular undead players, and Dark Ranger came out from Moon, so Moon's going to creep off this uh, green camp. But back to what I was saying, um, if you think of uh, if you think of uh, undead, you think of uh, you think of um, Rain, you think of Ted, and of course Happy. Happy has to be one of the people. And uh, Moon's going to finish this camp off and picked up a uh, Rain Protection Plus Two. Meanwhile, the Meanwhile, the happy DK is, is over here trying to kill some uh, wisps. Though the wisp is detonated right before it gets coiled, that's uh, pretty good by Moon. Moon's going to Moon's going to war out the uh, the uh, Death Knight. That not right now. I believe Happy knows this is a Tyrone build, and he's gonna maybe come over counter with some uh, come over. Uh, he's gonna get some uh, destroyers. Let's see if he's starting to he's starting to get tier two already, and uh, he's going to. The moon has creeped off to both the green camps next to his shop. Nah, I'm sorry, next to his uh, main. Now the moon is going to um, creep off this uh, orange camp after gaining a bunch of uh, skeletons. Meanwhile, uh, DK is going to just chill around and maybe after after moon is starting to engage, engaging these uh, uh, creeps, the DK is going to DK is going to creep jack this uh, uh, level six uh, level six creep and steal both items. Great, 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 great move by Happy. It's just not so good for Moon. And um, uh, one of Archer, Moon is going to lose one of the Archers here. And that Archer is going to go down. That hits the DK to level 2. And uh, let's see if uh, Moon, uh, Moon is going to catch his DK in low HP. Um, few, this Archer is going to get killed one by one here. A lot of goals were brought back by Happy. Happy's gonna surround this Dark Ranger, but the Death Knight is in trouble. Well, Dark Ranger has to TP, and uh, this is gonna be end for this. Uh, this is gonna be end for the <laughs> for the creeping or creep jacking. By the way, Moon's really so far behind after that. He lost the Asian War. He lost uh, about four archers, and he's losing a well. I think he used a TP. So uh, great, 
great play from Happy, but uh, not so great from Moom. Moom, I believe he needs to focus on that uh, DK and just to m try to make him TP. Uh, that's pretty hard against a TP uh, against a uh, Death Knight that's uh, level two Death Knight, especially because it's faster than uh, level one. And uh, then your Dark Ringer. No, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, DK with uh, level one Unholy Aura is uh, just as fast as the Dark Ranger, so Dark Ranger won't be able to catch the DK. Uh, and uh, Moon is gonna start creep. Finally, finally finish this creep camp off. And uh, let's see what. Uh, yeah, tier straight to tier three. So it's gonna be Destroyer Rush. Uh, Destroyers are perfect counter for against these uh, Skeleton Warriors. And uh, uh, Happy came back to jack this, and does a does a one off to reveal this real HP, low HP archers. More archers keep falling, and uh, Naga Siege came out for Happy. Happy is going to catch some units, and this uh, mercenary is going to get focused down. Uh, two goals died, but uh, I believe Mo lost a lot more archer than uh, the Happy lost units. Um, yeah. Uh, including the Scarlet Warriors. Uh, Happy is that DK is in a little trouble here. I'll keep an eye on that. And in the meantime, I believe this uh, Dark Ranger is in a little trouble here from the Naga. And Dark Ranger is not casting silence on the Naga. And Do uh, DK came, came back and has about 80 health left. And Naga is going to do a lot of damage with the Cold Arrow here. And. <laughs> There's a coil heal goal, but uh, I don't see that's gonna uh, that's gonna work. Death Knight is halfway to level three, by the way, and uh, I believe Happy is gonna start his uh, slaughterhouse. There it is, slaughterhouse. And um, the first fiend came out for Happy. We're gonna see some uh, we're gonna see some burrow maybe. And this uh, this mercenary keeps getting focused down. And Moon, I believe he he's uh, he's just getting tier two because he lost Asian War. That's why he's so far behind. And Go is gonna go back to base and uh, maybe heal. And the Fiends should be here in in ten twenty seconds. Not couldn't twenty ten, ten seconds. Fiend will be here uh, unless unless Happy brought the Fiend back. I don't know what's what, why um, why Happy has a uh, has a uh, retreat with his Fiend. Um, <laughs> that fiend is full health. Maybe oh, I think the fiend is gonna go back and carry some items. Maybe no, 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 uh, no pack pack upgrade. So uh, I don't know why. What's the, why the fiend's back? Uh, and the coil almost killed an archer, and but the DK is a five oh. HP left. Wow, happy, happy is walking on the edge between. Uh, he, he he he's walking on the cliff. <laughs> happy is walking on the cliff of uh, uh, losing this game actually. If the DK falls, then the moon is going to be um, ahead, I believe. If you, despite Happy's tech advantage, I believe Moon's going to have a hero advantage if, uh, if Moon just uh, managed to kill Happy's DK. And uh, Happy is going to retreat, and Moon's going to find an easier time. Maybe he's going to do some creeping. Um, the, the most logical choice for Moon is, is, this, uh, is these green camps here. Maybe Moon's going to. Oh, Moon's going to go to the orange camp. Okay. Moon's going to kill. Uh, try to focus down. Well, I don't know why he's focused down the priest. Um, of course, uh, his troll trapper is a logical choice because he has the least amount of uh, hit points. And and uh, Happy's gonna do some shopping and maybe get some destroyer out. And oh, this is a gold rush. Maybe gold frenzy is being researched. So uh, we're gonna see some crack goals. Uh, Lich gonna grab a orb, okay, and.